Good morning, sunshine. Hey, get out. This is my house. This is my house. Mr. Bean is dead. You need to calm down and reevaluate your life choices because I don't think you're making very <laughs> responsible life choices. By being here. I just think you need to reevaluate. <laughs> okay. Are you reevaluating? Yeah. No. Why? I have nothing to reevaluate. I said I have nothing to reevaluate. Good morning. I wasn't even going to say it like that this morning. <laughs> Georgia slept over last night because it was one night and she was too lazy to drive home. I wanted to spend time with you. Oh, you want to spend time with me, you know what I mean? Wait, sometime today, <laughs> I don't know when, I'm going to kick her out of my house and then I'm going to go shopping for her birthday present because it's her birthday in, is it two days? Wait, I know the I know it's on Saturday, but I don't know how far away Saturday is. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> don't make my bed. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Get out of my house. No. <laughs> my bed is so messy, thanks to you. You just told me not to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can't. You ruin it again. <laughs> get out! <laughs> you look so great this morning. No! <laughs> I just try to compliment no. you. What do you think about me going shopping for your present? <laughs> and me knowing exactly what's going on and you knowing nothing? I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I have just arrived at my boyfriend's house because we're going to go shopping for George's present. What? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I need this. Guys, so I've been a fail of a vlogger today while I've been shopping. Which is really bad because Georgia wanted me to vlog this shopping experience and I'm not doing a very good job of it. I've picked up quite a few things already. I have some stuff from Lush, some stuff from Kiki K. I also have some stuff from Kmart in that as well. But that's all I have so far. So I need to go and find some more things. I'm at another shopping center. I already dropped my boyfriend home because he has like plans for this afternoon. And it's really like 2 p.m. So I need to go find some more things. Like I have ideas in my head and I have plans for what I'm gonna get. Like I had a list of things I'm gonna get. But if I find like things that are better than what I thought, then I'll just get those. Basically, Skay and I made this plan that we're gonna do 19 things for 19 years. So we're getting Georgia 19 gifts. And so we wrote a list of a bunch of like her favorite things or things that we think she would like and stuff like that. And we've kind of halved it and she's getting half of the things, I'm getting half of the things. So I don't have to get 19 things, but I have to get like a bunch of things. I have to, I want to. I love Georgia, I want to spoil her and Skay does too. And we're going away for the weekend at Burley for her birthday. So we're just, you know, having a little like girls weekend i also need to pick up like a box or a basket or something to put everything in so you know that's just the plan at the moment i also need to get some wrapping stuff so i think that's what i'll be getting here just like wrapping stuff and maybe a basket and maybe some other things if i see them um excuse the music but i'm in this random two dollar store the music is so loud <laughs> but i think i found a basket to put everything in and some brown paper to wrap stuff in because i think it would look really cute with like brown paper and twine so that's the plan so far so I'll show you. I'm thinking like the big one. Like there's a little one in there, like two little ones in there, but I'm thinking the big one, cause it's really cute. I'm in Kmart now and I'm thinking, would this be cuter than the basket? RC998, subscribe. Or would this be cuter? Like a little round one. Would everything fit in there though? I feel like that's too small. I'm in the book section now and Georgia loves to read. She also has a lot of books, but I really want to get her the Connor Franta book, but I don't know if she already has it or not. And it would just be like a waste to get it for her if she already has it. So I don't know what to do, but it is such a beautiful book. Like Georgia and I always say how we're like the same person, which makes shopping for her really easy. Cause I'm like, if I like it, she'll probably like it. And I think this is a beautiful book, like just from looking through it or someone looking at me. This is like on a maybe list. Okay, so that was like a semi-successful shopping center trip. I got all of the things I need to wrap it. So I got like twine and ribbon and um, this like brown paper and stuff, which will look super, super cute. 
I was trying to figure out if I should get the basket or not. I didn't end up getting it because I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough. So I'm not sure what to do. I can always go back and get it like tomorrow morning or something before we go out. And if not, I'll just pop it into a box or something. With the basket would have been really cute, but that was the biggest one I found. Or I was thinking I might be able to get one of those crates that I saw or like those wire sort of baskets in um, Kmart and just spray paint them white or something like that. But I don't know yet. <sighs> It's really difficult. I'm trying to find the perfect gifts, but it's like really difficult. And also don't know what like skate is gonna actually get. So I can't like figure out everything until I like know all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna go home and like sort out all the gifts and figure it all out. And then I'll probably check back in with you then. I'm going out for dinner tonight with one of my friends or we're kind of like having dinner in, but yeah, that is the plan for tonight. So I just got home and I like laid out all the stuff that I got Georgia, but I'm just like not completely happy. Not like I'm not happy with what I got, but I feel like I need more. <laughs> I've got the right amount of things if like Skay gets her amount of things, but I just feel like I haven't got enough. So I'm going out again. Right now it is like five o'clock. My friend Gabby is coming over at 6.30 and we're having dinner, but I just... I don't know, I just love Georgia so much and I want her to be like absolutely spoiled, but it's just like really difficult to find things that are like perfect because I never want to buy things that I'm just like, oh yeah, this might work. Like I just want to buy things that are like really nice. So I also need to get a photo printed because one of the gifts is a photo frame with like a photo in it. So yeah. <laughs> Which color? This one looks so cool because it like changes color. But this one is super, like really cute. It's like a sky blue. And then there's like a lilac and I don't know which one. The first one I thought of was like the sky blue because I feel like that's so pretty. But like this one just looks so cool because it like changes color. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm home again. And I think I'm happy with all the purchases that I have made. So I'll tell you guys what I have bought. I don't know where to set you guys up because this lighting is just not doing it. I need to take off my shoes too. I'm just like so tired. I've been out like literally all day. I've been to three different shopping centers. Like I guess it's my fault for leaving it to the last minute but I don't even know if I consider this last minute because I've still got like a couple days but oh, actually we leave tomorrow to go to the beach but still I'll show you guys what I got. So firstly I got her two bath bombs from Lush. This is the Blackberry bath bomb and the lava lamp which I'm hoping she has never tried before because that was like my aim to get ones that she's never tried before but we'll see if she has tried them I hope she likes them I also got this super super cute thing from Kiki K and it says letters to myself and basically you write letters to yourself and then I guess you open them at a later date but I just thought this was the cutest thing ever and I think Georgia is like a really inspirational person and I feel like she would enjoy to like look back on how she thought at this age or whenever she chooses to write these letters and it's just like a really cute idea and I thought she would really like it I hope she really likes it but we'll see I also just kind of like this was like an impulse buy but I thought this would be like a useful thing to have but these are from Kmart and they're makeup blender cases so like beauty blender cases so when you go traveling you just pop your beauty blender in one of these things and you can take it with you and I thought that was so handy so like if she's ever getting ready at someone else's house Apart from her own, she can like pop a beauty blender in there and then it's not like floating around with all of her other makeup things. I also got her this cup because she loves smoothies and I thought this was a really cute cup. I bought it for myself a while ago and I thought that she would like it so I hope she likes it too. But yeah, she likes smoothies so why not have a cute cup to put your smoothies in? Except I feel like it won't be big enough because she has like really big smoothies compared to me. So hopefully she still likes it. I also have two photo frames. So this one is going to be a photo, but I haven't printed that out yet. I have to print that out tomorrow morning. And this one here is going to be a little Bible verse that I'm going to draw for her and put it in that little photo frame because I think that would be a really nice thing to do. I just wanted to make something for her so it's a bit more like from the heart because she's in my heart and I want to show her that. And then the purchases that I just made. I went to Sports Girl and I'm so happy I found this. Basically, Georgia and I have been looking for like little star and moon earrings, like tiny little studs for like ages. And we always talk about how cute they would be and how cute they are. And at Sports Girl, I found this little like set of um, earrings, studs, but they have tiny little stars on them. And I also found some tiny little stars from Colette but it was just those tiny little stars and I thought it would be nicer to get her the ones with like a bunch of different ones in case she doesn't even like the stars hopefully she likes 
one of them on there but then she can also mix and match and stuff because we've also talked about getting our thirds done and i don't even know if she will get her thirds done but if she does those would look super cute like as a third like set of earrings any of those because they're so tiny but even if she doesn't they would still look cute as like seconds or even first i guess but you know what i mean it's really cute and the last gift which i'm so excited about is this huge fluffy robe that i just showed you from target basically i walked past it and i felt it and i was like gee that feels a lot like this blanket that i have and then i was like oh my goodness georgia has the same exact blanket that i have and she loves it like we both absolutely love this blanket it's like the best blanket that has ever existed it's from kmart if you want to go pick it up it's amazing and this is basically like a wearable version of that blanket and so i was like i need to get this for her i need i need to because i have a fluffy robe and you guys have probably seen me wear it because like i love it and it's amazing and i just needed to get one for georgia because it's so beautiful and so soft mine's not from target but this one is i think like softer than mine like it's amazing i can't believe it i was like getting served by the lady at the register and she was like oh my gosh like i love this um i bought one for myself and my husband loved it so much that he stole it from me and I was just like, that is how you know that it is perfect and great. It was kind of funny because I wasn't sure she already had a fluffy robe and like, what's the point of having two fluffy robes? So I texted her little brother and was like, hi, I know this is a random question, but does Georgia have a fluffy robe? And he's like, no, she doesn't. Or at least like she doesn't have a good one. So fingers crossed. She likes all these things. Georgia, I know you're watching, so I love you. And I've tried really hard and I hope you like these things. And Skay is getting like the other half. So that's really exciting as well. But that's like the reasoning behind these gifts if you guys were wondering but either tonight or tomorrow morning i will wrap them all up and get that all sorted but that is it and i think i'm gonna have dinner with gabby now so i'll talk to you guys later so it is quite a bit later now and gabby has gone home we had a lovely dinner i love thai food it is amazing and now i'm just doing my little drawing for the photo frame that i'm gonna do so i'm gonna look up pinterest because that's usually how i draw things like i look up at pinterest it's not even really drawing, it's more of a calligraphy type thing, but yeah, I look up Pinterest and then I find a verse or a style of writing that I like and then I just kind of imitate it or copy it or get inspiration from it. So that's the plan. I'm going to try and find a verse that I think is perfect for Georgia and hopefully she will like it. I don't want to just choose a random verse, like I want to choose one that I really think she will like, so... That's the plan. And I'm going to do that and I'll probably show you guys after I'm finished or maybe partway through whenever I see you guys next. It's currently 9.34 and I still have a lot of work to do tonight. So I'll probably be up pretty late tonight. Okay, guys. I finished. And this is the final product. It's in this little black frame. I chose black because I knew I was going to write in black. And I thought a white frame wouldn't look as good. Like the black frame kind of brings out like the writing if that makes sense i'm trying for it not to be clary but it says be still and know that i am god and it's from psalm 46 verse 10 but i think that kind of saying is like very not very common but it um appears more times than that in the bible i think it appears in joshua but i chose that one because i feel like it's a really good verse to like have in your room or something when you're stressed out and i know george and she gets stressed out sometimes we all get stressed out sometimes and she gets anxious sometimes and for her to just be able to see that and be like it's okay god has got it he's in control and he knows what's going on if she has like a little reminder of that in her room just so that she can look at that and remember that she doesn't have to worry about it i think that would be really nice so be still and know that i am god it's just kind of like remember that he's in control he literally rules the world he has a plan and that plan isn't gonna fail and just having a reminder of that i think should be helpful and just a nice thing to have so probably like an hour later i look at it and i'm like that did not take an hour but <laughs> Yeah. This is the state of my lounge room right now from wrapping presents. This is like the tiny little pile of presents here. So this is like the beauty blender cases. This is the like the cup. I didn't wrap the um, bath bombs because they kind of already fit in with the theme with the brown paper. I'm sorry for the lighting by the way. My house lighting is really terrible. And this is like the theme I went for. So it's like brown paper and then pink ribbon, which looks really white right now. <laughs> and like the white twine. But like then on some of them, I just did the ribbon. And some of them, I just did like the twine. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to wrap this up or not because it's so big. I might leave that as it is. Basket tomorrow morning to put them all in. 
once I know scary stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up and then probably just go to bed because I just need to do some dishes and tidy up the house a little bit and then I'll go to bed. I just cleaned up the whole house and I was just about to hop into bed, took my makeup off and I realized that I need to tan. So I'm gonna go tan and then I'm gonna hopefully go to bed so that'll be enjoyable tanning is like great after you've done it but it's a pain to put on and a pain to take off <laughs> i haven't tanned in like two months because i only really tan when i have like special events and i guess this weekend is a special event we're not like going out anywhere crazy but i still wanted to like feel tanned and i think the other girls are tanning so i wanted to tan as well but i forgot how cold it is to tan in winter because you have to like strip down and I have never wanted to get tanning over and done with so fast in my life but I'm glad it's over now and I'm in a hoodie. I'm gonna go to bed now it has been a very long day but a very productive day and I'm so excited to go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys soon. Good bye.